Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room today. An exciting unboxing of hundreds of pairs of high quality guppies all the way from Thailand. Grab yourself an extra large snack and beverage, make it healthy and stand by. All right, fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. As you can see, this is my fish room. Uh, it's relatively new. I moved into this space uh, the beginning of October. Then I had a heart attack the beginning of November and open heart surgery, and that put everything on hold. And uh, I don't know, about a month ago, we got the fish room up and running thanks to my good friends, uh, Keith and Jake from kgeaquatics.com. Check out kgeaquatics.com for plants and uh, hardscaping stuff and botanicals meds pretty much anything you're going to need for your fish tank they have so check out kgeaquatics.com all right folks i am super excited for this unboxing this is my first high quality uh guppy unboxing from my supplier in thailand i have two boxes a couple hundred pair of guppies and uh let's let's unbox them together now Full disclosure, this is the first big unboxing I'm doing in this fish room, so I don't really have a system set up yet. So we're gonna unbox them together and see how it goes. Uh, these fish left Thailand, I believe uh, Friday our time, and uh, arrived in LA yesterday morning and then arrived in Philly this morning. I am in South Jersey. Somebody asked me a question like, are you from Montreal? I don't know why you thought I was from Montreal, sir or ma'am, but no, South Jersey. Um, stand by. Do that, yep. And then, uh, oh, I forgot this is tape. All right, I gotta rip this box. Still got it. We're gonna move the box. Again, nothing, no, no system set up like I used to in the other fish room. Um, so yeah. All right, the styrofoam box is taped. So if you've never imported fish before, which most people probably haven't, uh, they get they get shipped to a trans shipper who's responsible for all the customs and all that stuff. And uh, apparently the inspection in uh, LAX was really slow yesterday. But they got everything done. So my trans shipper is fantastic. All right. We have a heat pack. Two heat packs. Not warm. Um... It was chilly here this morning. It was in the 30 this morning. It's in the 50s now. It's uh, just about lunchtime on Monday. So, all right, let's take a look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the lid actually, so you guys can see better. There we go. All right. First, blue dragon females. Can't really see them in the bag. Everybody looks pretty healthy. Oh, there is a DOA. She had babies. That happens. My um, my importer, no, my supplier, I've been dealing with him for years now. We have a very good relationship. And if I have a problem, he always takes care of it. I'm not even concerned a little that, you know, I'm going to lose out. Plus, I've been in the game a while. So um, I expect a DOA here and there. You know, it's bad if you have all of them DOA, but anyway, moving on. Albino King Cobra males. Yep. You know how I feel about the albino albinos, but you guys like them, so. Purple Blue Mosaics. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, baby. Super high quality Red Dragon BDS, big dorsal. Look at these, look how good they look in the bag. Oh my God, I can't wait to take them out and show you. Uh, Albino King Cobra females. Blue Dragon males, baby. Blue Dragon males, these are some of my favorites. The Red Dragons are my favorite, Blue Dragons are close second. Uh, Albino Blue Tail females, they look just plain. Plus, it's cold. I know I have my temp gun down here, but this water, based on my... It's probably about 73.6 Fahrenheit. What are these? Blue dragon. Oh, Dumbo dark dragon females. All right. 
that does it for this box. Oh, snap! Look, guys. Look, look, look. My trans shipper in Thailand line a box with Manchester United. Fantastic. I don't know what it says. I don't know when it's from, but I'm going to I'm going to read that later. Well, I'll take a look at it later. That away. All right. I'm going to get the other box, show you the same thing, refill your snack and your beverage if you need to. Stand by. All right, folks. I'm back. Let's open up this box. So, Box amongst yourselves for a minute. No, just kidding. Uh, Michaelsfishroom.com is up and running. I moved my site from WooCommerce to Shopify thanks to a very good friend. Um, in fact, Matt is OnlyFins from uh, the Fish Fam. Fish Fam link. Fishfam.link. Uh, check that out. All right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to rip the box. We're gonna take the 38 pound styrofoam box filled with high quality guppies. We're gonna throw this box over here. It's gonna be burned in the fire pit tonight. And the styrofoam lid will be untaped and come off. Did I not? No, I didn't. like these unboxings let me know in the comments below i always thought like unboxings typically do pretty well for me um but i don't know are they getting boring or are they repetitive do you guys like them heat pack still warm a little warm all right I don't remember ordering these, but it says metal red lace, but that, oh, they're just really pale, I think. Well, that one's red. Oh, Galaxy Neon Blue Tail Extra. <sighs> oh. Okay, I don't know why. Extra. Anyway, <laughs> red metal lace. Is that what they are? Metal red lace. Purple blue mosaic females. Dumbo dark dragon males. Look at those. Look at how sexy those look. Ugh. Half black red rose, a huge seller uh, in the past at michaelsfishroom.com. Hopefully you guys like these as well. These are the uh, half black red rose. You can see there is a dead one right there and there's babies in the bag. That happens, that's actually the most common death. Uh, they give birth and then the excess bio load, you know. Like I said, these were probably in the bag since at least Friday our time, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four full days probably in a bag. And look how much water is in this bag, right? There's a couple ounces at most. These are the half black red rose I showed you already. What do we got here? Dumbo, uh, red dragon females. Look at how big and sexy these females are. Look at the dorsals on the females. Look, they're females and look at them. And then, uh, Albino blue tail males, which look all crappy because it's cold and they're albino and blah, blah, blah. All right, fishy folks, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to uh, unbag these, get them temp temperature acclimatized. And um, I'm probably not going to film me opening every bag because that's, that's pretty boring. However, I will come back and show you what they look like in the tank as soon as I get them in the tank. And then a couple hours later... Uh, before I finish the video. So guys, please check out michaelsfishroom.com. All these fish will be on the website by the time you, you watch this. Um, I am shipping this week, starting this week for the first time on Wednesday. And uh, if you want anything or, or have any requests, you're looking for something specific, 
Don't be like, ask me if I have any rope fish, because no, I've never had a rope fish. I've never even talked about a rope fish. But if you're looking for guppies or plecos uh, or quarries or even, you know, your typical community fish, I can get all that stuff. I'd be willing to special order for you. You'd have to pay ahead of time. But, you know, it's all good. Just email me through my website, michaelsfishroom.com. That's the easiest way. Or you can email me directly at michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. All right, folks. Refill that snack and beverage. I'll be back in a second for you, but probably about an hour or two for me. So stand by. All right, fishy folks. A couple hours later, I'm going to show you the fish in the tank. They all look great. Unfortunately, we had quite a few DOAs of uh, one particular strain, the uh, Red Dragons. Uh, more than half the females came in DOA. We had a couple of, you know, onesies, twosies, DOAs for some of the other strains. Not completely unexpected but unfortunately it happens um i will get my money back for those fish unfortunately it won't be until i order more which might not be for another month it really kind of depends on how sales go so help brother out and buy lots of fish michaelsfishroom.com all right shall we go take a look at the other the fish in the tanks before we do that i know what you're thinking you're thinking to yourself but but mike you were wearing a green shirt now you're wearing a red shirt yeah, that's because I got all wet from opening bags and I didn't feel like waiting for it to dry. I just changed my shirt. So anyway, let's look at some fantastic looking guppies. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. These are the red dragons. Look at how sexy they look. These are the male red dragons. I did put the females in another tank for two reasons. One, uh, they the females would have been outnumbered about two to one and that wouldn't have been good. And two, the, um, it's hard to tell them apart sometimes. Like, I can tell them apart, but it's just way easier for me to grab a male out of this tank and a female out of this tank. You can see them in the back there. Kind of hard to see. Oh, they're all just chilling in the back. But, uh, yeah. So, I always separate them. It just makes it easier for me when I'm bagging. It's much quicker. All right. The next strain that I got were the famous blue dragons. Quite, quite big females in this batch. Males are a little small, which is fine. We want the uh, females bigger so they can be stronger and beat the males up if they like, see that one? That one he's trying to get a little, little nooky nooky and she's like, nah, -uh, lights are still on, buy me dinner first. All right, a strain I don't particularly care for, but you guys love are these albino king cobras. I tell you what, there are some pretty sexy males in this tank as well. Some with some really dark tails. Like, look at this one down on the bottom. Look at him. That is a really nice looking guppy. I still am not a fan of the, the red eyes. All right, we're going to scooch my chair. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. Here we have Half Black Red Rose. Again, another longtime favorite uh, in Michael's fish room. Uh, just a... A very nice, simple guppy, but really stunning colors. Um, fortunately, they're hanging in the back, so it's hard to see them, but they are looking well. All right, one set of guppies down here in the bottom row, besides the females at the end. These are metal red lace guppies, looking spectacular. Look at how the tails just, just, they just pop. I mean, look at them. Let's see if we can focus in. They look great. Everybody came in super healthy. Um, and you might be saying to yourself again, but, but Mike, how do you cycle these tanks with fish in them? Well, they've already been cycled and I have a poop ton of extra filters that I've been running for weeks now. And uh, what I do is I take fil a filter from a heavily, heavily stocked tank, mostly the Pleco tanks, and I just put it in here and boom, instant filter. I do have a couple filters online at michaelsfishroom.com. Not too many, because I don't have that many yet. Um, and I want to make sure they have plenty of beneficial bacteria in them for you guys to buy. All right, moving on. We have the Dumbo Dark Dragon, which just so you know, is my girlfriend's favorite strain um, of all the ones I just got. But these look stunning. Look at the big pectoral fins the dumbo ears as they say these look really really nice came in super healthy we got some pregnant females we had a, a female drop fry in a bag and i say there were three left i saved them i'll show you those in a second 
Here we have the purple blue mosaics. Um, not, not a big, I'm not a big fan of these, but they do look really nice. Um, these still haven't colored up 100%, but they will. They'll color up more. But look at these albino blue tails. These are colored up quickly and really nice. Also, another uh, strain I'm not a big fan of, but you guys seem to love. Look how big these females are. They're going to pop any second. Uh, as in all my guppy tanks, I have a poop ton of java moss or some other floating plant. This happens to be java moss. Um... I do have some of that, that octopus plant from upstairs in some of the tanks. Look, I put albino quarries and albino blue tail, so they all felt like they, you know, like they belong with each other. Yeah. Anyway, folks, that does it from Michael's Fish Room. Check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. All these fish will be on the website. I won't be shipping them for a minimum of two weeks because they have to go through quarantine. But I suggest if you want them, you order them soon because I think they're going to go quick since I haven't had guppies for sale in about six months. Uh, the weather here is fine for shipping. I have no problem shipping. Um, however, if you are in a state where it's going to be, you know, under 40 degrees for a few days, let me know and I will hold off until, uh, until it warms up a tad. I'm comfortable shipping for that, but if you leave those fish outside for too long, they might not do so well. So especially if you don't choose expedited shipping. That's another thing, folks. I offer two shipping methods on the website, michaelsfishroom.com. I offer a $25, um, a sort of priority or standard shipping, which is anywhere from two to five days. If you're in a location, I typically use UPS, but if you're in a location where UPS um, service is spotty or even USPS spot service is spotty, you know, you might not get your order for four or five days. That's a long time um, for fish to be in a bag that I have no control over and you have no control over. Remember, once it leaves my hands, I have no control over it. It is all up to the shipping service. So if they leave the box outside in the truck overnight and it drops down to 30, even with a heat pack, they're going to get cold. Um, conversely, if it... You know, if you're in the south and it's 90 degrees outside, we don't want them, you know, in that weather either. So let me know, you know, your weather, if you're not sure, if you're ordering somewhere where there's an extreme temperature swing from where I am, let me know and we'll, we'll figure it out. I, I've been shipping for years. I don't have a problem shipping, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, that does it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share. You can buy merch now on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. It is a print uh, per order, so it does take a couple days, but I make some shekels, and you can buy it on my website. All right, folks, have a great day. See ya. Peace out. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to an exciting unboxing video. Hundreds of high-quality guppies all the way I forget from where. Oh, Thailand. We're gonna start again. <laughs> All right, fishy folks. We are about two or three hours later. No, no, we're not. How? What's wrong with me? 